Hello everyone and welcome to my second video on the Crazy Pages collaboration. Now last video I did, I put these together and I cut these pieces of uh, cardstock all the same size to fit an altered book that I'm working on but I might end up just doing this as an individual book. I might put them together as a loose leaf binding. It all depends. I don't know. But I'm going to work on them like this without working on the book first. Like that once I get all my pages done. Then I'm going to put the book together. And um, like that I won't mess up the book. So this is the second art journal that I'm working on. I'm learning as I go along. And um, I think working on loose pages is a little bit easier and neater than anything else. So right now all I'm doing is discovering what everyone has sent me. Such beautiful work. And, and just, uh, just gluing it down, putting it down on a page to start off with as my background. Um, this one's probably the one I did the most with I made a little pocket and these two things well this strip here and that's a napkin that's from my own stash and a painted background okay so I'm gonna put these aside and I have some clean pages here I'm just going to grab and see what I've got here. Um, this one's from Bea, and I already used all her stuff. Oh, wait a minute. There's... <laughs> I didn't know this was in there. Cool. This doily was stuck inside, and the envelope's gorgeous. So, let's see what I'm going to do here. And I like this. Bea... And I'm trying not to show you guys the addresses. Although it's just us girls, I don't think they have any stalkers in the group. In this envelope, there's this little design that she did on the edge. And I'm going to cut this out because I like it. And I'm going to try and use every bit of the things that I got. Now, when I was doing this, each group is a group of 12. 12 ladies in our group. I think we're all, we're all ladies. And we were to send everyone in our group a card. Oh, look at this. It comes right off, okay. I don't want to unstick it yet. Let me see. Uh, let's put it on a piece of wax paper. So, where's my wax paper? <clears throat> uh, I'm starting this video with uh, no plan. No plan at all. I'm just going to go with the flow. Okay, I got this tape from Bea, and I'm going to put it right here for now, and put it aside, and work on it later, and I also got this from Bea, and, and this. Alright, there I got some little things. Let's see, what else, what else, what else? Uh-huh. Uh this is from Britta. Britta Smith Telfit Berger. I'm sorry, Britta. I can't pronounce your last name, but she's from Denmark and she has a great video on how she made this. And this is what I got from her. And there's nothing left inside. Goody, goody. Ooh, but we have a cool. Let's see. A really cool stamp here 
And I'm going to keep that and throw the rest away. Yes. This is Prioritaire. Prioritaire. Would, would that be French? Prioritaire. Oh, that's a goodie. So let's see what Ruta sent me. Of course, I already know. I've got checked it out, but let's see anyway. Okay. I have this looks like craft paper with some crazy colors in there. Very good texture. And then this looks like it's made on some kind of can. It has like a canvas texture on it. Very pretty. And it says, hi, Celia, a crazy page for you. I hope you like it, or at least, at least can in a use can find can find a uh use for it yeah britta of course find a use for this too i like that all right let's see what she also sent some little extras oh yeah this is from a magazine or a newspaper and it's all in her language which what did she say she was from denmark Mm. Yeah, from Denmark. And that page with the kid in the toilet is, is funny. I love it. And this is an ad for a hamburger. Oh, I love this. Different languages. Really cool, Britta. All right, so this is what I'm going to work with here. Hmm. Let's start with this. This is my page, so I'm going to mount it on one of these, but it needs background. So how about I take this. I don't want to Oh shoot, let me see, I have a ruler right here. I'm gonna tear up that picture. I'm gonna save that picture with a kid in the toilet, that's too funny. Kid in the toilet, I'm gonna cut him out. And I'm gonna use this as background for that. Now, like I've said many times before in my videos, I don't edit. Um, I have tried and, and to learn how to do that, it really just hurts my brain. My artistic brain is not made for this. One day, when I'm rich and famous, I'm going to hire a director. A cinematographer, a sound man, get an original score. Well, you get the picture. <laughs> and maybe one day I'll win an Oscar. Yeah. You know, I was, I was watching the Oscars tonight and I was thinking, wouldn't it be great if you two decided to do a an award ceremony for the best videos, okay? Now, our genre of art making instructional videos is small compared to all of YouTube, but I think it would be great, you know, it, it would be like in categories. And of course, we would have many categories in the arts. Wouldn't that be cool? I think it would be awesome, yeah. So, YouTube executives and 
thinkers out there, if you're listening to my video, think about that. That would be so cool. I'm like, we can we can win the, the YouTube award. If there's such a thing. I like it. This. I like that. So I'm going to keep adding and mostly around the edges because there's this, that page is going to cover everything on the inside but I'm going to let's see some here papers here. Here. Now I'm not worried if it's sticking out if it's sticking out the page right now. And this is Mod Podge I'm using. I empty my, I put my Mod Podge in the Sriracha bottle. It's a lot easier than dealing with that big bottle that the Mod Podge comes in. This has no writing on it. Let's see, this one's got a little picture. I'm gonna put you right here. I'm mostly worried about the edges because that page is gonna be right in the middle. Okay, and here's another little piece. I'm gonna stick him right here. Now this one is going to go right here. So I need, I need something to coincide. Now it, if you watched my last video, I'm going to center things more toward, to the right because um, on the left side I might have to trim or if I decide to do this as a loose leaf binding. I'm going to need the left side. So, okay, right there. So what colors do I see here? I like all those. I'm going to blow dry this just a little bit. So get some of that stickiness out of the Mod Podge. Podge, close the bottle and clean that nozzle so it doesn't get stopped up. And I'm going to pick up some colors from here. She does have a green edge. So maybe I should do a green color. Okay. I'm going to reach into, I'm just going to do my craft paints here. I have this mossy green that uh, I'm going to do. And I'm going to 
to use. Let me see. We'll just use a little putty knife or what some people use is the credit card. Yeah. So I'm just going to smear this green paint around. Let's see how that's looking. Mm -hmm. And then she's got some browns here and some blues. So I'm going to grab some browns. What do I have here? What is this? This is burnt sienna. And I'm going to put a little bit here. that off and while I'm doing that I'm going to put something clean under here uh, where, where 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 here we go so don't get stuck on the back oh and these these are my extra pages it's gonna go right here for now all right Let's see how that's looking. Okay, we look like looks like we need some blue now. But before I do that, I'm gonna blow dry this a little bit. <clears throat> Before I continue, I'm going to trim the excess paper just so I can get a better perspective of what I'm doing here. Now, if things get a little boring for you, just fast forward. Try to keep my videos under an hour so they're not put you to sleep. Okay. And take this and empty that out in the garbage. So we need some some blue. Let's see, do I have ooh, I have a really pretty dark blue right here. It's navy blue. I'm just gonna put it. Okay. I just want a little bit of this, not a whole bunch and I'm gonna use a little a little knife way more on there than I want it so I'm going to scrape some of it off I'm 
and wipe a little bit up with a baby wipe. The places where the Mod Podge has dried lets me pick up more paint because it doesn't absorb right into the paper. See, right there. Oh, this is definitely too dark here. Oh yeah. Let's see how that's looking. I like that. But before I do that, I'm going to put a little bit of off white, some cream. If I can find it. Oh, where's my cream? Ah, this one, antique parchment. Yeah, and I'm gonna put this one on the side a little bit because I don't, definitely don't want a whole lot of this. And it's just gonna be That's it. Now I'm gonna dry this a little bit. Oh, and I'm going to get rid of this paint I got right here. Podge Podge brush again. And I'm gonna Modge Podge this really nice and thick and juicy with Modge Podge. Oh, what? A little piece missing there. Mod Podge on this one. I'm just going to do an extra Mod Podge because this this paper is a little bit on the thick side. It's some kind of cardstock, so I'm going to make sure it sticks really well. 
Um, here we go. And I'm going to go up to the right, about right there. Now I'm just going to take my ruler. Seal Mod Podge on top. Let that beauty dry. Uh oh. Okay, come on. All nice, wet, and juicy, and it's going to. We'll put it up so it'll dry safely somewhere. Okay, now my paper here is covered with wet Mod Podge and some wet. in there and I'm grabbing my wax paper again <clears throat> another page and now I'm gonna use this I could cover this whole thing This is a white Stabilo, which is a general scribe all, all surface pencil. Hopefully it'll write on here. At least enough for me to make a mark. This size of my page. There we go. And I'm going to cut this. Podge again. Squeeze a good amount. Oh, picked up some wet paint there. No biggie. Okay. Uh, okay, it's curling up. So my solution for that is wetting the other side. There we go. Now, flattens back up. And I'm going to glue this right in here. Fine. To make sure it's on there straight. Of course it never is, but that's okay. It's a little bit slightly off. I'm 
spots here that doesn't look like it wants to glue. I don't know why. a spot they don't want to glue. Okay. And Mod Podge at the top. And what this does is just gives it um a good coating of Mod Podge on top of this. It's, it's going to give it a, a protective coating. And it's going to let me able to paint on top and draw on top with less problems. Because the Mod Podge will prevent anything from seeping into the paper. And look at all that texture. This is going to be really something. Yes, it is. And now this ruler has like a beveled edge, and that's the part that I'm just squeezing out. I don't have a squeegee kind of thing. Okay. All right, and this is a baby wipe that's drying up so I'm just wetting it a little bit so I can clean this off. I have glue stuck on here forever. Yeah. And I'm gonna put this aside and let that dry. Okay, I still have quite a bit here left. I also have this doily and oh and i got this i really love that that is so cute so my next paper which is now i had all my papers cut ahead of time oh here they are okay let's see this is oh this is full of this is sticky with mod podge this is wet i'm gonna put this to dry and get a dry sheet of wax paper. Where's my wax paper? Here's a dry sheet of wax paper. I got this. And I like this. And I like this. And Oh, this way. I'm going to Mod Podge this here. On top of here. Yeah. Okay. This is going to be a pocket, and I'm going to put this in the pocket, right? Right. So I need something on top of here. Oh, look at this. This is this was in the envelope. This is the paper. Where's the little boy with the, in the toilet? Here we go. That's a little boy in the toilet. And this, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, little boy in the toilet goes here. This goes right here. Pocket goes right here. 
I need something right here. There. Look at that. Perfect. All right. Little boy in the toilet. It's much podge time, little boy. So we we'll put him right here. Margie podgy, margie podgy, margie podgy. put this one in here first and kind of let it hang out a little bit. Uh, this is like right here. The little boy in the toilet needs to be, oop, needs to be right here. This needs to be right here. Uh, like that. There we go. Make sure this is well watch podge down. Okay. This needs to be dry before I put this one on there because it is a pocket and I don't want to get stuck. So in you go to this. Blow dry, blow dry. Going to trim the edges. Trim right here. is dry to the touch. So while this is dry, I'm going to use my ink pen. Okay. 
get a, a black paint pen. It's just a regular good old paint pen. And I'm going to just do some Yeah, do this. It would probably be a better idea to let this dry just a little bit more. But because you guys really don't want to sit there and watch me blow dry a trying to get this as fast as possible and then this part right here What's funny about the little boy is that's actually a collage. This is a picture of a collage. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Britta. All right. Now, I'm going to put my pocket. I'm thinking about pocket. Kind of soft. I don't know. Can't see the little boy's feet. I'm gonna tear it down a little bit more. Right now, I got a white spot right there. So what I do with that is just paint this black. Blow dry time. <clears throat> now, ideally, if I had my sewing machine available, which I don't, it's in storage right now, I would sew this right here and it would be so cute but I don't so I'm just going to put a little bit of Elmer's and Elmer's is going to go just enough on the edge like just run a bead right there on the edge like that there and put it here we go Ta-da! We could still add more stuff to this. I'm thinking maybe something else right here than that. But it looks pretty good. So this is, let's see, I've done three pages here. 
these are still, well, this one's almost dry. This one's still wet and juicy. I got lots to do with this, but I got them covered. up on this one. That's because this one my yeah this one's the one I sprayed with water on the back so it's taking a little bit longer to dry but that's okay. It's gonna look cool. It's supposed to be lumpy anyway. This one's looking fantastic. Still wet. And there we go. Alright guys. That's all I'm going to do. For this one. And uh, see y'all next time. Thanks for watching.